Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy and drama movie from 2017 called Jalous. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a beautiful teenage girl, Matilda, and her boyfriend, Felix, coming home late in the evening. It's Matilda's 18th birthday, and her family is excited to celebrate with her. As soon as she walks in, her mom and all the relatives there wish her a happy birthday and sing to her. Later, Matilda's mom, Natalie, chats with her best friend Sophie about Matilda and her thoughtful boyfriend. Suddenly, Natalie spots her ex-husband, Jean-Pierre, with his new, younger wife, Isabel, and offers them food. As they talk, Natalie thinks Isabel is neither as attractive nor as smart as she is. However, when Isabel mentions that Jean-Pierre is taking her to the Maldives for a vacation, Natalie feels jealous and walks away. After the party, when everyone else has left, Sophie tries to cheer up Natalie, who's upset about Jean-Pierre's vacation plans with his new wife. She tells Natalie it's not a big deal. The next day, Natalie, who teaches literature, rushes into school late and ignores a woman asking for directions to the principal's office. She hurries to her class and apologizes to her students for being late. After class, the principal introduces Natalie to a new teacher, who turns out to be the woman she had earlier refused to help. Embarrassed, Natalie quickly says sorry to Melanie, explaining she thought she was a student. As they talk, Melanie shares her plan to bring real autobiography writers to help with literature projects, which the principal likes, but Natalie isn't keen on. Later, Natalie gets ready for a blind date arranged by Sophie. She arrives at Sophie's house and meets Sophie, her husband Thierry, and his business partner Sebastian Court. Sophie introduces Sebastian and Natalie, sharing details about Natalie's job, her divorce, and her beautiful 18-year-old daughter. Sebastian shows a lot of interest and seems attracted to Natalie. On their way home, he tells her about his love for Coltrane's music and drops her off at her house. Although Natalie is tempted to invite Sebastian to stay, she chooses to go inside alone. A few minutes later, she changes her mind and tries to call him back, but he's already driven away. Feeling frustrated, she goes into her house. Soon after, Matilda comes home with Felix. Natalie, still upset, prevents her daughter from taking Felix to her room, using her upcoming dance audition as an excuse, and sends him home. This makes Matilda angry, and when she argues with her mother, Natalie slaps her. The next morning, Natalie tries to explain her actions and apologize to Matilda, but Matilda isn't ready to talk. Later, Natalie visits a doctor and shares that she's been having mood swings. The doctor tells her that she is approaching menopause, and these mood swings are symptoms that could last from months to several years. On her way back from the doctor, Natalie stops by a travel agency and asks about a holiday package booked under Jean-Pierre's name. When the employee confirms the booking, Natalie pretends to be his current wife and asks to cancel the package, claiming a family member has died and they can't go on holiday. The employee believes her and cancels the booking. At school, Natalie attends an informal meeting with the teachers, including Melanie. While the other teachers are enthusiastic about Melanie's idea of working together to broaden their knowledge and help the students, Natalie disagrees and ends up embarrassing Melanie in front of everyone by calling her immature. In the next scene, Felix is over for dinner at Natalie's house, where he and Matilda are looking through old photo albums. Suddenly, Natalie starts teasing Matilda by making fun of her childhood photos, embarrassing her. Later, during dinner, when Matilda steps out to call her dad, Jean, Natalie tells Felix that Matilda has had quite a few boyfriends. Later on, Natalie has dinner with Sebastian at her home. As they discuss their past failed marriages, Matilda comes into the kitchen to get water. Sebastian glances at her, and Natalie, noticing this, angrily accuses him of looking at her daughter inappropriately. She abruptly tells him to leave her house, not allowing him to explain. She also scolds Matilda for interrupting their dinner. Frustrated with how things are going in her life, Natalie meets Sophie at a bar and drinks a lot. There, she ends up causing a scene by calling Sophie's daughter ugly. The scene then shifts to Matilda's pre-audition, where she performs well and moves on to the next round. Both Jean and Natalie are there to congratulate her and express their pride. However, Natalie starts criticizing the other contestants, prompting Jean to ask her to stop being so negative. Afterward, Natalie leaves a voice message for Sebastian, apologizing for her actions, and goes to Sophie's house for dinner. While Sophie is making a salad, Natalie asks her if she is truly happy with Thierry. Sophie says yes, mentioning they've been together for nearly 20 years. Then, Sophie's daughter Emma shows up, and surprisingly, Natalie compliments her on her beauty and elegance. 
After Emma leaves, Natalie quietly tells Sophie that she saw Thierry with another woman who was prettier than her. This angers Sophie, who advises Natalie not to meddle in other people's relationships. The next day, Melanie visits Natalie's classroom and confronts her about her recent behavior. Natalie, getting angry, challenges her to report her to the authorities. However, Melanie wisely suggests they put the past behind them. Afterward, when Natalie discusses her stressful life with her doctor, he suggests she see a psychiatrist and recommends yoga or swimming to manage her stress. Meanwhile, Jean and Isabel are at the airport and are shocked when the travel agent tells them their booking has been canceled and their seats sold to someone else. Furious, they have to return home. Isabel suspects Natalie and uses a trick from a movie to confirm it. She has Matilda call her mother and Natalie falls for the trap, proving she was behind the cancellation. Despite this, Isabel urges Jean not to confront Natalie and suggests Matilda spend some time with her mother. In the next scene, during dinner with her mom, Matilda starts coughing as if she has something stuck in her throat. Natalie panics and calls 911. Later, outside the hospital room, Jean arrives and finds Natalie confused. The doctor tells them that Matilda had an allergic reaction and warns them to be careful. He also mentions that she cannot attend her upcoming audition due to her condition. Jean accuses Natalie of carelessly feeding their daughter something she's allergic to, but she denies it. When Jean finds a bottle of peanut oil in the kitchen, which Matilda is allergic to, he blames Natalie for endangering their daughter right before her important audition. He decides that Matilda will stay with him from now on. After Matilda leaves, Natalie is left alone at home. Sophie visits, trying to comfort her and connects her with a female psychiatrist specializing in mother-daughter relationships. In the next scene, Natalie visits the psychiatrist but ends up arguing, questioning the psychiatrist's expertise since she has no daughter herself. Later, Natalie goes swimming and meets an elderly woman, Monique, who has recently lost her husband. Natalie sees a reflection of her late mother in Monique and opens up about her life. Monique, who loves dancing, offers her company if Natalie ever needs it at night. During dinner at Sophie's, Emma bursts in, accusing Natalie of trying to poison her daughter. Sophie manages to calm her down and escorts her away. After Sophie leaves, Thierry explains that the woman Natalie saw him with was his cousin visiting from Paris. Natalie feels terrible about what she told Sophie. The next day at the aquatic center, Natalie meets Monique again, who tells her that her name means rebirth and reassures her that everything in her life will eventually fall into place. The following day, Natalie can't find Monique at the aquatic center and asks the receptionist for her home address. Sadly, when she arrives, she learns that Monique has passed away after a fall down the stairs. Devastated, she leaves quickly. Later, Natalie goes to Thierry and Sebastian's workplace and meets with Sebastian. She apologizes for overreacting previously and asks him to come with her to Monique's funeral. Meanwhile, Matilda is seen practicing intensely for her next audition. At the funeral, Monique's niece thanks Natalie and Sebastian for being there. On their way back, Natalie thanks Sebastian for his support and they share a kiss. Back at home, just as they are about to become intimate, Sebastian tells Natalie he can't continue because he is moving to Japan for a year. Natalie, unfazed, asks him to continue. Over time, Natalie begins to improve how she treats others and gets her life back on track. She returns to teaching and receives a warm welcome from her colleagues and students. The scene shifts to Matilda's final audition where she performs beautifully but is not selected by the judges. Natalie, upset, accuses the judges of being biased and incompetent. Outside, Matilda confronts her mother for embarrassing her, but Natalie insists she was just defending her daughter's hard work and effort. She leaves, noting that Felix and Jean are there for Matilda. The next day, Natalie receives a message from Matilda saying she'll be home in a few days, which fills her with happiness and hope for reconciliation. In the last scene, Natalie asks her daughter to have fun with Felix and to be home before midnight. She then visits a neighboring couple who often invite her for drinks. Sadly, when she knocks, the husband informs her that his partner has left him due to his jealousy. The movie ends with him asking Natalie if she is jealous of anyone, to which she replies, no. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.